It's one of the most scenic and one of the most tranquil spots in Switzerland. Until once a year, the cliff divers arrive. A few dozen people in the world who can take skills normally practiced on a mundane 10 meter board to much higher levels. I can tell you 10 meters is high enough. When you get to 20, it's just a totally different mindset, totally different feeling. I mean, totally different speed that you hit the water. But when you get it right, it's just such a thrilling feeling. And, and you hear when you're spinning around, you, you pick up so much speed, the wind's blowing past your ears. It's just, it's, it's brilliant. Cliff diving demands enormous concentration, skill, but above all, nerves. Divers have just three seconds from takeoff till hitting the water at 80 kilometers an hour. But the judges are watching carefully. So what makes a winning dive? Every dive has a degree of difficulty which is compounded by uh, the number of somersaults, the number of twists and the positions in the air as well as the entrance into the water. And this will be multiplied with the sum of the judges' marks to get the final score. In the end, this dive won the championship for Blake Aldridge. But for him, like many competitors, the biggest prize of all is the chance to dive in surroundings like this. I'm used to a swimming pool, indoor or outdoor. Um, they're both different, but I mean, this is, just look at it, it's paradise. And, and I don't know, I guess we're all here and we're all blessed that we can be here and, and dive in this environment. It's just it's such a beautiful place. And so, after one day of thrills and spills, tranquility returns. But the cliff divers of tomorrow are already testing the water. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Southern Switzerland.